What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lime of Football. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys the top Christmas gifts for football players. So I'm hoping it is parents out there watching this video right now trying to find what to get their kids. Although, obviously you get a lot of views from my normal fans. So guys, if there's gifts on here which uh, you think also would fit this video, don't forget to comment them down below. Now, first off, every every product I talk about in this video today will be linked down below. Having said that, it's more just suggestions. You don't have to go with that specific product. Also, all the prices of the items I talk about will be listed in the top right of the pictures. Another thing, just because I'm mentioning everything right now, you might wanna wait a little bit because coming very soon will be Black Friday, and then even more for buying online will be Cyber Monday coming on the following Monday. So you might not wanna jump on it right away as some more sales might be happening within a week of this video coming out. Okay, so let's start with the ones which I actually don't think are good Christmas gifts. So they could still possibly be gifts, but you need to know a lot more information about the person that you're getting the gifts for. So first off, um, one that can be really tricky is apparel. Uh, apparel can be very hard to fit, although some kids also specifically like certain brands. Uh, as far as colorways go, that could be another issue. So that's one that you might wanna stay away from unless you know their measurements, you know everything, you know exactly what they like, and maybe even if they have another version of it, you're just gonna get them another color of it or something like that. Uh, another tricky one is also gloves. Every kid is very, very specific about the gloves they want. Unless they ask for a specific glove in a specific colorway or whatever, I might stay away from that one. One that can be even more tricky is cleats. Cleats are another very specific thing. So apparel, gloves, and cleats, unless they explicitly ask for those products, I might stay away from those just because they're very, very tricky. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna talk about is get your kids some form of memorabilia. So on eBay, you can find tons of great products for really good deals. So right here is a Joe Montana signed mini helmet and it's only like 50 bucks on eBay. So it's not like you're breaking the bank. Uh, you can also look at say um, signed footballs, signed cards. I've even got some that were like my brother found one and got it for me. It was like 10 bucks. Uh, no one bid on it and I got the card. It was I think a signed Dwight Freeney card. So you can find some really good items on eBay which are really good for really cheap. For those though, I definitely wouldn't wait till Cyber Monday because some come and go that are really good on eBay. So jump on it right now if you're looking to do something like that. Also make sure, even though I'm showing a Joe Montana here, you gotta get it for the kids team. The second is a really simple one, Madden 17. Yes, Xbox One. So when I was younger, I got Madden every single Christmas so it's always a good gift especially make sure they don't already have it though. Make sure you get it for the right system. I'm an Xbox One guy, so get it for the right system. It's a great, pick, it's a great pickup, although games are getting a little pricier now and it's, it's 80 bucks. Now, a good way to check if they're actually gonna want it is see if they have any of the previous Madden games. Obviously, if they have 16, it wouldn't be a bad idea to pick up 17. Okay, so now let's look at the uh, stocking stuffer and accessory type. So these accessories are a little better gifts as far as than apparel and gloves because they're not as specific and they're a little more universal of a product, one size fits all, that kind of stuff. So the first is bicep bands. Got some here, they're super cheap. You can get them in white, white will match with every single team if you're not sure their team colors. Although the easiest way to do that, obviously if you have a picture of your kid, look at the color of their uniforms and also look at the branding of their uniforms. If they wear Nike uniforms, try and find Nike armbands. If they wear Adidas uniforms, Adidas armbands. So try and stick it with the teams and go with a little more neutral colors. Okay, next is a sleeve. Tons of kids wear sleeves nowadays. Now there's different levels of padding, there's different branding. This one here, McDavid. McDavid makes really good sleeves. It's also on sale right now, opposed to like the Nike and Under Armour ones. Um, of course, everything is linked down below for East Bay. So again, really good products. Make sure you look at their uniform. Okay, next is a towel. So I know this is Lyman football and a lot of kids on the line don't wear towels, but centers wear towels. Some guys on defense that play both ways wear towel towels. So this one might be a little more skill position than Lyman, but it still could be a good pickup. Okay, next is a pair of these spats. So I had a pair of these a long time ago. They're rebranded. They used to be the two-tone cleat spats, one of my original videos on this channel, but they're still a good idea. They don't provide any ankle support if you're looking for anything like that. They're more of just a cleat cover to cover up your laces, part of your sock. So it looks like you have tape spatted cleats. Again, could be a really cool, simple product, and they're also super, super cheap. Okay, so some of the next products are a little bit more expensive than the stocking stuffer type products. These are gonna be some off-season training equipment between seasons, which they will be around Christmas. So the first one is a uh, foam roller. I'm actually gonna recommend this one, the Trigger Point Grid Foam Roller. I have the larger version of it. I put a review on a little bit ago. 
but the little one works just as well and it's about half the price of the large one that I have. So it would be a really good pickup. Next is a speed ladder. It wouldn't hurt to get them to get their feet moving, that kind of stuff. Although speed ladders could be one of the more expensive items on here. So I think you might want to ask to see if they specifically want this one because it is a lot of money. And another simple one, which again, you don't have to go with the skills brand, which is known for its training equipment. You can go with just a basic one you might sport check, but basically a simple jump rope. They can do it anywhere. They can do it inside. If it's nice, do it outside, depending on where you live. Uh, it will create a little bit of racket though, so keep that in mind, but it's still a really simple, good product to help them train. And the last product to help encourage them with their fitness off season and that and kind of help them will be uh, some kind of heart rate monitor. So this one I'm showing here basically because it was the cheapest and best looking one I found on East Bay. You could go with the traditional um, Fitbit, one of the Fitbits, but they are a little more expensive. They range between the 150 to I think like 1280, something like that. Um, I got one for my mom for Christmas last year that she wears every single day. So the heart rate monitors are a good pickup. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Again, if you liked any of the products I talked about, please like the video. If you have any other ideas for videos or just Christmas products, don't forget to comment them down below. I put out two videos every single week, so don't forget to subscribe. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks.